You're watching KSL, Utah's source for news. Trust is rattled in a northern Utah community. A former police officer is formally charged in a string of crimes involving a 15-year-old girl, including coercing her to send him almost 200 nude photos. And the allegations don't end there against former Tremont officer Jeremy Rose. News specialist Sam Penrod's been digging through the charging documents, is live here tonight with more. Sam? Well, Dave, it's been hard for the community to understand how this could have happened. There are also allegations he secretly took hundreds of photos and videos with without the teen knowing, and that he electronically stalked her every move on her iPhone. This is Jeremy Rose, booked into the Box Elder County Jail last night, accused of sexually exploiting a 15-year-old girl. Charging documents state that Rose told the girl he had contacts with a modeling agency and encouraged her to take nude photos of herself to get modeling jobs. In fact, the photos came directly to Rose. But he is also accused of taking thousands of voyeuristic images of the girl through a camera hidden under a dresser in her bedroom. Prosecutors also say he put spyware on her iPhone, which allowed him to see her phone calls, voicemails, text messages, and web searches. Well, what's disturbing to me is, is, the, is the pattern that he engaged in. Juan Becerra is a retired FBI agent who focused on profiling. While he was not involved in the Rose case, he sees disturbing patterns of behavior. Did this individual come with this dark side into law enforcement and then was he placed in a position of trust where he exploited that trust and then uh, was able to exploit other individuals? That is of, uh, of, gr of great concern. Becerra believes the long investigation likely included looking into Rose's background and how he was able to deceive the victim as a trusted public servant. The fact that he went through so much trouble uh, and created this elaborate scheme and then participated in it for so long, creating the, ficti the fictitious emails and different things like that, those are all uh, points of uh, very big concern. Tremont police would not comment today about the charges other than to tell us that Rose resigned from the department back in July. He remains in the Box Elder, Box Elder County Jail tonight. His bail's been set at $145,000, and he is scheduled to make his first appearance in court on Monday. What a stunning chain of events there. Hello, right. Sam. Thank you. We're